What is going on, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? Boy skins here today, and you may be thinking, "Hang on a minute, did Crandall update?" No, it didn't. This is a new server. Well, I I think it's new. I think it's actually been out for a couple months. But um, I just joined. I joined recently. It's called Rune Dreams. Um, don't get me wrong. I'm still going to be playing uh, Crandall. Uh, I've actually got a little bit of an update video uh, coming out about that, but um, that's not important right now. This is going to be an introduction to Ruin Dreams, the uh, new server that I'm going to be uh, playing. So I'm just going to go through, you know, the basic things here, like shops. I oh, have to trade on this, you have to trade. So, you know, standard stuff. Got an ancient staff in here, which is uh, pretty cool. Uh, low, you know, it's just all basic stuff, and yep. Until you get around to the uh, actual point shops, um, it's all uh, pretty standard. So, this max is just skill keeps. Uh, shopkeeper, just sell anything. Okay, so pr uh, King per Percival, I think, uh, is the uh, loyalty uh, point master, as you can see. And you go um, untradable buyback, so if you lose your untradables, uh, you can just buy them back. General supplies, so um, brawling gloves, uh, herbs, uh, seeds, I'm not sure what these are, oh these are extra bank spaces I do believe, which is pretty cool, and uh, uncut gems and whatnot. I uh, didn't realise it go, went down like that, doesn't seem to be anything loading, so we'll go through the next one. Next one is uh, combat supplies, which is pretty beast if you ask me. Um, and that entails, you know, fire cape, uh, trickster gloves, uh, all these gloves, ring of wealth, uh, D boots, D legs, defenders, Debo, uh, all the gods, uh, all god sword hilts, uh, infinity whips. I mean, this shop is literally beast. Uh, this I'm really in love with this server at the minute. And uh, the last one I believe is that's it, cosmetics. And that's just like all of this, like all of these uh, different rune shields and whatnot. And uh, I think these are pets, which is pretty cool as well. Uh, we'll go to Explorer Jack. And that's the uh, achievement points. You can get achievement points for doing uh, little tasks. Uh, you know, coloured staffs are light, uh, coloured scarfs, Robin Hoods, uh, Green Dehyde Blessed, Blue Dehyde, you know. And uh, Ancient, oh I didn't, didn't realise that was in there. If you remember from uh, Zom, uh, Zamorok, I was trying to get that ancient plate body for so long and I never did get it. But anyway, that's just uh, the basic shops of the minute. Just take you to the uh, donator shop very quickly. So you talk to this guy and uh, he, you can get some information, you know, um, open the donor shop, buy donor sales, uh, buy sponsorship and uh, talk about ranks. I'll go uh, a bit more in detail about uh, sponsorship a bit later and all the ranks and stuff, but uh, it's not important right now. We're going to open the donor shop. So as you can see straight off the bat, this is pretty beast. Um, we've gone game. Uh, so a whip is 300 donor tokens. Uh, full Torva I think is 4k donor tokens. Uh, P-hats are 7k each. Uh, black P-hat is, I think that's the most expensive thing, at 12.5k. Uh, and you know, all of this. and. Um, Again, I'll go into uh, how donating works a bit later, but again, that's not important right now. So we go to this next guy, the Wellmaster. I don't actually know what this guy is, but uh, let's take a look. So show me the current rates for the next event. Uh, how many GPs in the well? Um, I'll take a look at that later. I don't think it's very important. And this is this guy. So your feeding supplies, uh, f uh, feed items to mysterious old man uh, changes uh, XP rates and the XP mode. Uh, wise old man, forgot what he does. Oh uh, yeah, he can um, lower combat skills and stuff. And then you've got the Slayer Master. Take a look at the Slayer uh, rewards. Um, it's uh, it's all right, I guess. Uh, obviously, you don't want to make it too OP for, uh, because the economy and stuff. So you got Whip Debo, Battle uh, Battle Mage Robe, uh, Tops, uh, Vanguard Legs. I'm not sure why only the legs are in here, but oh well. And then you've got Mark, uh, who's the PK, uh, PK shop. And as you can see, that's pretty standard for a PK shop as well. And that's basically it for the shops. Uh, now I'll go into uh, the teleports a bit. So to teleport, um, you just want to go to here, uh, your magic tab, and click on any one of these, it seems. It just every single one of them does the same thing, so it opens teleports. And um, 
Let's go over to uh, oh, oh, city teleports aren't really important, I guess. Uh, skill and teleport, skilling island, barbarian outpost, I guess that's for agility, tree name village, and dungeoneering. Uh, you have to uh, pay to unlock certain teleports, uh, not all of them, but uh, just certain ones. So training teleports, you've got quite a lot, yaks, rock grabs, slayer tower, apatol, experiments, uh, lumbridge pumps, dragon dungeon, tavli dungeon, smoke dungeon, brimhaven dungeon, carol's dungeon, and the fremenic slayer dungeon. That took a lot to say. PK and teleports, um, probably don't really need to go into too much detail, it's all standard. Minigame teleports, Jewel of Vino Barrows, Pest Control, Dazar Caves, and Castle Wars and Soul Wars, which is interesting. Didn't know we had Soul Wars. Might give that a go later. Uh, boss teleports, God Wars, uh, KVD, Pest Queen, Ancient Prison, that's next, I do believe that's next. Uh, Corp, Nomad, and Dangalos Dungeon, and then the members teleports, uh, Donator Island, um, Donate to Ireland for mining and donate to Ireland for dragons, I guess that is. So yeah, that's about it for the teleports. Go into uh, some of these tabs up here. So, you know, I've done a little bit of combat and um, some other stuff. It's actually um, for uh, quadruple XP right now, uh, which is a pretty beast, so I got a lot done. Uh, I've chosen, actually I'll go into some detail about the game modes. Uh, you have Ultimate Iron Man and uh, regular Iron Man, of course, um, and then I think there's four other XP rates: there's Legendary, uh, Extreme, which I am, uh, General, and Noob, I think. And um, obviously, the harder uh, game mode you choose, um, the the better benefits. So, um, for example, I've chosen Extreme, and I get, I think, uh, um, I don't know what the exact. Um, statistics are but I get an improved uh, drop rate and uh, my uh, prayer um, uh, regenerates quicker I think or yeah I think it is that um, so that's just a little bit about the um, game mode it's pretty uh, self-explanatory if you sign up you'll uh, you'll see um, and you can get more information about those but uh, onto the quest tab so Shows you how many players are on, 13 at the minute, then again it is quite early in the morning. And uh, when I first joined there was about 31 players on I think, so you know, quite a few players. Uh, Slayer Logs, which is pretty cool, I've always wanted this for um, Crandor, but uh, a lot of people suggested it, but it, no one really got around to uh, doing anything about it unfortunately. Um, so you've got all, oh there's bosses in here as well. Oh yeah, you can get boss tasks, I forgot to mention, which is pretty cool, it's like uh, Zamrock. Uh, vote XP boost, so when you vote you get uh, double XP, I'm guessing. Star location, um, the mining star thing. Uh, evil tree as well, I'm not too sure what that is, uh, it's got to be something to do with wood cane. Uh, it tells you your game mode, how long you've played, how many achievement points you have, how many kills, deaths, zeal points, PK points, dungeoneering uh, tokens. Pest control points, loyalty points, slayer points, consecutive slayer tasks, cast board points, you can read it yourself. Uh, I didn't know we had clue scrolls, which is pretty cool. And you go here into uh, the tasks, uh, so you know it's pretty basic. Uh, don't really need to go into too much detail about it. And I think that's about it for like basic in game stuff. Um, yeah. I can't think of anything else. Um, no, I think that's it. Okay, so, yeah, that is it. <laughs> Such a long pause. So, um, guys, if you uh, like this little introduction video to uh, Rune Dreams, the new server I'm going to be playing, make sure you uh, drop a like and comment. Make sure you subscribe. And uh, thank you for 300 subscribers, by the way. Uh, achieve that on the 12th of May, not sure when I'm going to be uploading this video, but anyway, um, yeah, thank you for watching, um, the link for this server will be in the description, I highly suggest you sign up, because uh, it is a great server, I haven't been playing for that long, uh, but so far I'm I'm loving it, in all honesty. Um, last thing, I'm still going to be playing Crandor, um, don't think I'm abandoning that, I literally just gave away, um, well I didn't give away, I sold a lot of stuff, and okay, okay, technically I did give away the whole of my bank, um, 
the video of me doing that might already be up, I'm not too sure. Uh, probably isn't though. But anyway, this has been a 10 minute introduction video, so um, yeah. I'm going to get started on my first progress video for this server. So, um, last time, thank you for watching. Leave a like, drop a comment, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace.